DCS F-16. It's a Falcon. It's a Viper. It's got a GM-65. Just released. We're going to learn how to use them. Or as the military guys would say, employ them in a combat situation. So here we go. All right. We're in the business end of the F-16. And we're going to be using the AGM-65 Deltas, the D model. We can carry up to six of them, which we're doing right now. And the D models are infrared, IR guided. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is bring up the AGM-65s. And we're going to go to air to ground. And the SMS page, we're going to turn the AGM-65s on. And we're going to switch to uh, pre pre-planned mode. And there's steer point one. And we're going to go to steer point two. And you can see our target cursor go right to steer point two. And our left MFD, we have the TGP for the lightning pod. And the lightning pod is on auto. Let's look at the controls we're going to use today. All right, let's pick up the flight. And our first attack will be done using the TGP pod. And the reason we're gonna use it is we can detect targets at a further distance. And we also can make out what they are. So we're gonna look at it, our biggest threat, which is gonna be a IR mobile SAM launcher so we got that locked up and now we're gonna go to the right MFD and we're gonna go to the weapon page now it takes three minutes for the AGM 65 to cool down but once it cools down it will bring up the IR view from its own seeker and that seeker will automatically slave over to the TGP so we'll start the handoff sequence and we'll do that by moving the sensor of interest to the right DMS down we'll move it over to the right and you'll see the box of the right MFD uh, outline There, it's the box. And we can confirm the target by pressing TMS up. And once we do, 
we'll get a cross over the target. We see that cross right now. And once the cross completely fills in, we can launch our weapon. Now you only want to perform these attacks when you're clear of long range SAMs. So there we go. Missile away. And we're going to offset to the left. And we show a target hit. All right. Pretty simple. Now we're going to go into visual mode. As we have eliminated uh, our biggest threat, we can move in a little closer. So we're going to turn back in. And we can see our... Our stores. Uh, we still have five AGM 65s to use. And we're turning back into the target area. All right, we're back in the target area. And we're not picking up a uh, direct line of sight. It's because I made a mistake and I did not deselect the target. That is depressing uh, TMS down. So we're just manually uh, moving the target cursor over with our arrow keys and we're going to pick up the target and TMS up missile away and the reason I'm showing you that mistake is so you could see the difference uh, we could still recover uh, but on this next pass, uh, we're going to deselect the target. And there we go. Another hit. Once you get a good lock, uh, these missiles are fire and forget. Or, as they say now, launch and leave. All right. Target deselected. And you can see right in the center, there's our target cursor and visual mode is probably one of the simplest uh, targeting methods to use so we're going to turn right back to the target area and it's much easier to line back up So we'll area back in the area. Missile away. That quick. Just remember to deselect the target after you fire. And we scored another hit. Alright, let's turn back in. Pull in some cheese.
approaching the target area. Here's our visual mode. Back in the target area. And we just get it inside there and TMS up. And we can move the cursor. TMS up again. We have our target locked. Bolt cross. Missile away. Egress off to the right. And we scored another hit. Well, guys, I hope you get a chance to try the AGM-65. Uh, it takes a little work, a little practice, but it sure is relatively easy to use and pretty effective. Well, guys, I hope you like this video. We'll see you up again soon.